Todd Parks, Parks at Education, and I love Google Forms. I was an 18-year math teacher, middle school, 7th and 8th grade math, but it takes too long to create questions, especially when you have pictures and diagrams. Math and science teachers, it takes too long. Some people don't want to type it all out. What's the solution? Well, before I was using the snipping tool, grabbing questions from old regences or old math assessments, and then saving them to my computer, which takes up space, naming them, organizing them on my desktop. Not a very collaborative solution to what I wanna do with other math teachers that I could be working with, and then going ahead and uploading them to Google Forms. Took a long time to make it work. I've got a solution for you where you save nothing on your computer. All you need are three tools. You need your snipping tool, you need a website that I'm gonna give you called paste.pix, and then you need your Google Form. This is going to be your solution to reviewing for your test, your assessment, your regions that your kids have to pass. As I said, it's test time, people. It's always test time, it feels like when you're a teacher, but there's only three things you need. You're going to need your snipping tool. And there's a lot of different add-ons and extensions that you can get. If you can't find it, just go down to your search bar and type in snipping tool. It'll come up. You're gonna to wanna to pin it to your taskbar. After you get your snipping tool, you're gonna need your content. I just went to Engage New York, one of the old seventh grade math assessments. You're gonna open up this window, paste.pix. Go and start it, people. You're gonna to wanna to make this a bookmark because once you get used to this, things start moving faster for you. And then you're gonna want some sort of Google form. We're gonna want it in quiz mode. Make it a quiz. Save it, good. Let's grab some content. I'm gonna find just the first question that pops up here and I want to grab my snipping tool. I'm going to just take the content that's here and then once I have the snip, I'm gonna to go to my next tab, which is paste.pix. This thing is awesome. All I'm gonna do is kind of click anywhere in this orange section. I'm gonna left click and then I'm gonna hit Control V and this does the rest. My question is there. Now here's the, it's not tricky, but here's the other piece that you've gotta do. You've gotta click on this more section because this is the URL of the page that we're on. We want just the image. All you have to do here is click. It says copy to clipboard and then go to your form and your multiple choice, you can go ahead and title this whatever you want. I like to do the standard. I like to do maybe the test year that it was from, just so I got an idea of what I'm putting in. But all you're going to do is go over to this picture section and buy URL. No more uploading. Just go to buy URL and right there you're gonna hit Control V. You're gonna paste it. There's your question. Hit select, and for multiple choice, these multiple choice questions that come up, a lot of people get, I don't know, they get a little bit anxious, other teachers, because you can't click on the actual choice. Don't make it multiple choice. Just make it a drop down. It makes it a lot easier. First option is A, and the rest should come up. B, C, and D, and then you can go into your answer key, pick the correct answer, and move on from there. How does this look? Well, this is how it looks. And that's it. So just to go back over this with you really quickly, we're gonna snip, paste, copy, and then paste again. 